Okay, this one's my favorite. He keeps flopping around like crazy. Oh. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to X-Life. As you can see, I've been busy collecting some pandas from the bamboo jungle and I also found something else that I wasn't looking for. I was wandering around the bamboo jungle looking for pandas and I found death. Yes, that's right, I died. I gained another heart. I'm no longer in the one heart club. So before I can do anything today, I need to go and clear out my locker in the clubhouse. So this is the last time I'm ever gonna be entering because now that I'm no longer in the club, my memory of how to enter the door is going to be erased. So let's just make sure I have everything I want. I'll gaze upon the triple bunk bed for the last time and I'm leaving the clubhouse forever, never to return. However, now I can go into the Two Heart Clubhouse, which is just over here. And apparently there's a room waiting and ready for me. Now I can finally cross the threshold and enter the clubhouse legally. What is in store for me in here? Ooh, there's a basement. Wow, they really did save me a room. Oh, I need to decorate this place. 12 seconds later. Ta-da! I decided to make it blue to match my new heart color scheme. So here we have Stitch with some cute blue hearts. And this here is my fake window since this is a basement with a nice heartwarming scene outside. Actually, that's kind of horrifying. What is happening in this scene? Well, now that this place is decorated, I am officially a member of the Two Heart Club, along with many other people who are also in this club. Oh my gosh, I haven't even looked at my podium at spawn yet. Oh, look at me there with my two hearts. I spent 43 hours in the One Heart Club. Let's see how long we can last with two hearts. And all I'm doing today is breeding pandas, so hopefully that should be kind of safe. So my goal for these lovely pandas is to breed them. So I'm gonna start by building a sanctuary and then try breeding them so that I can start releasing them back into the wild. So let's just collect them up in the lassoes for now and go and find a spot to build this sanctuary. <gasps> Ooh, I think it'd be really nice to have it up on that hill over there. So let's extend this path to go up this hillside. And now we need to build a panda sanctuary. And since pandas are from China, a lot of you guys suggested that I base the panda sanctuary on Chinese architecture, which I think is a great idea. So I'm gonna build a huge arched gateway entrance called a Pai Fang and try my best not to die in the process. So step one, of course, I covered the ground in water because it's embarrassing enough that I already died once to fall damage. Then I started building up the gateway and for some reason I started celebrating when I got to the top as if the hard part was over. Then I spent the next 45 minutes struggling. This took me an embarrassingly long time to complete but I'm so happy with the result. I think it looks beautiful. And now that we have this extravagant entrance for my panda sanctuary, it's time to make the actual panda sanctuary. Now I want this place to look as much like a bamboo jungle as possible. So step one, we're gonna need some pod sol here because the grass is too green and the pandas won't like this. So I'm just gonna clear out some random patches of grass and replace it with this pod sol. There, and now that we have a few nice splotches here and there, I think next we need to add some bamboo and jungle trees. So I'm just gonna start placing these around kind of randomly. Let's also do some small jungle trees. And now for the bamboo, I'm just gonna go wild, placing this everywhere. This place is gonna be a panda paradise. So while we wait for all this to grow, I'm gonna place down some leaf carpets. So this place looks more like a forest. I think this really enhances the look. And over here, I'm going to build a waterfall. Wow, that tree just grew. So here's gonna be the pool. Let's fill this with water. There. Oh, that's really cute. Now to make this look even better, I'm gonna use a tip that I learned from Fwip's videos to do some terraforming so we can make it look like this is kind of rocky. And I think this already looks way more interesting now. Let's also do some little rocks up here. That looks kind of cool. This has really improved already. We should also add some of this pink sea rocket because I did find this in the bamboo jungle. So it makes sense and it looks cute. Let's do another little rock here poking out because I'm obsessed. I think they look so cool. Oh my gosh, how much does that look like a real actual boulder poking out? 
Now this place is almost ready for pandas. I just need to secure the entrance so that they can't escape. So I'm gonna dig a trench and then cover it with these leaf carpets. And that means that the pandas should not be able to cross the threshold. And, oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, leaf carpets, not the most genius idea I've ever had. We'll go for some traditional green carpets instead. There, much safer. And now the pandas should not be able to escape. It's time to bring them to their new home. So here is our first panda, and I have a name tag for him already because I'm gonna name my original three pandas after famous real life pandas. So his name is Ja Pan Pan. Oh, that's cute. Next one looks identical because they're all the same type. This is gonna be Bei Bei. And the final panda is gonna be called Bao Bao. And now that they're all settled in, we can start breeding them. So we need to make sure that there's plenty of bamboo around. And now they should make a baby panda. It's so adorable and tiny. You're just so precious. And I'm gonna make more of you until this place is full of pandas of different kinds. Because there's a chance for them to turn into different kinds of pandas when you breed them. Right now I only have normal pandas, so I'm gonna keep breeding them until I can discover some of the new types. 12 seconds later. <gasps> Wait, one popped out and it's different. It has its tongue out. What are you? Whoa, look at him go. He's a crazy panda. Okay, this one's my favorite. He keeps flopping around like crazy. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, my favorite. Be careful. Whoa, what are these pandas doing? Oh, they're just eating bamboo. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have too many pandas now. I don't even know who's who anymore. <gasps> Wait, <gasps> whoa. <gasps> That was terrifying. He's way too big to be rolling around like that, but I love him. Just don't roll out of the gate, okay? Oh my gosh. That one's going for a swim down the waterfall. Now there's a big one coming down the waterfall. I can't control these bears. What is going on? Oh, this one's sick. Oh my gosh, there's a panda in the flower field. How did this happen? I did not realize that keeping pandas would be this stressful. They're constantly trying to roll away. Come back. Why am I making more? I'm only giving myself more problems. <gasps> A brown one. It's so cute. I love it. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait. Look. It's a weak panda. He's all snotty. It's kind of adorable. And he sneezes a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I think we might have too many pandas. I'm gonna have to start donating them to anyone that will take them. Let's go. I'm gonna leave one at Whip's house. And Joey can have one too in his cute house. Megan can have this one that has somehow managed to escape. Here you go. And that's everyone. And I still have way too many pandas. I think it's time to release some of them back into the wild. So let's grab a few of the normal pandas and take them back to the Panda Research Center so they can live happily in their natural habitat. Uh, now there is definitely no shortage of pandas in the bamboo forest anymore. And I was about to say my panda sanctuary is a little less chaotic and then I noticed these pandas rolling around in the flowers. They're so cute though. I can't stay mad. Oh, this is much calmer. But don't worry, I kept all of the favorites. So I have my three original pandas. I've got my new weak panda, my favorite playful panda, and a brown panda. So now all that's left for me to do is give Joel the panda that I owe him. So I'm gonna let him pick which one he wants to take. Hello, hello. Hello, Joel, I have a surprise for you. The panda is ready. So if you'd like to come with me, I'll take you to the panda sanctuary and you can choose which one you want to adopt. Oh, this is beautiful, Lizzie. I love it. I think I need some flowers here, but I'm not sure which ones to plant. Why don't you suggest? I think you should go with this theme. You need some red flowers. <gasps> How do you have so many? Oh my gosh, you've got so many. How have you got so many? What? If you think this is a lot of pandas, you should have seen what I had earlier. Can I take a baby? Yeah, you can take a baby if you want that uh one. I'm going to take the brown one because I like how he looks. Okay. For the future, am I allowed to breed my panda with your pandas? If you want, but honestly, you don't want that. Trust me. I, I think I do. Thank you. I hope you like your windmill. I love that you've built this beautiful panda sanctuary opposite the windmill now. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going now. Thank you. Please take good care of the panda. I, I, I will try. 
He's going straight in my tiny mob farm. <gasps> I'm joking, I'm joking. I have finally paid off the mortgage on my windmill. Next, as Joel suggested, I'm going to plant some red flowers on the trail up to the sanctuary. I think that's a very cute idea. So I've harvested loads of red poppies and I'm just gonna place them around. Ta-da! Oh, that is very cute. Except for that panda that's escaping. So that's where I'm going to end this episode of X Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any name suggestions for my new pandas. And I will see you next time. Whoa, what was that? That was terrifying. <laughs>